a Shalawam Makim Shalawam. First off, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. This is Brother Hawa Shah Zion just coming through with this real quick message, man. I'm going to name it uh, something like Tamar Braxton. Uh, she said, I thought God was going to take me. You know, here today, gone tomorrow, something like that. So nonetheless, man, you know, in this life... You know, you know, the scriptures say, man, your life is but a vapor. You know, everything is all vanity and vexation of spirit. But all of these uh, celebrities and their, and their uh, children and whatnot, you know, catch judgment pretty frequently, man. I don't know if everybody's been paying attention. But, you know, we're supposed to stay on watch to bring these things to light. And those people that are so-called prospering in the world... They typically have a lot of things happen to them, man, because it's a trade-off. You know, life is a balance, man. Like Job said, you know, in the book of Job, when we go to that in a minute, um, in the book of Job, I believe it's two in verse number eight, if I'm not mistaken, um, where it talks about, you know, Shatan basically, you know, was vexing him with boils from the top of his head down to his feet. And his woman said, you know, curse the Lord and die, you know, because it happened suddenly, you know, but he had faith. And a lot of these celebrities, they don't have any faith, but nonetheless, he said, shall we not receive evil from the most high and the good, you know, and with all that, you know, Job didn't sin with his lips. So it just happens, man, you know. Like the scripture says also in Ecclesiastes 9, I believe it's an 11 and 12 roundabout, which I'll get to in a second. Time and chance happeneth to them all. You know, the race is not to the swift. Okay. It means that everything's in the hands of the heavenly father. Even sickness, the Lord said, I wound and I heal. I kill and I make alive. Okay. Again, roughly paraphrasing because... You don't know what's going to happen from time to time. All you could do is say, Lord willing. You know, you might be getting a promotion in a week. You might be have something happening or whatever, but you might not even make it to that, man. That's why you got to repent. Okay, so December 24th, it says reality television personality and singer Tamar Braxton announced Instagram that she was hospitalized with the flu this week. She said, quote, this isn't an attention post. This is an attention post. Literally, I was with my best friends, whoever that is, it says shopping and doing Christmas fun shit. And the very next day, I had been taken to the hospital by ambulance. Needed oxygen because I thought God was taking me home because I could not breathe and my chest was on fire. She said I was taken to Nordstrom Northside Hospital and was met by the best nurses and doctors, including whoever that is, to find out what's wrong. Y'all, I have the flu, and let me tell you, it's worse than CV19, in my opinion. I'm on five different medications. Please be careful. I wasn't around a lot of people and I have no idea where it came from. Well, I can answer that through the scriptures, lady. I'll tell you where it came from, man. Just like the Lord, like I told you, the Lord said, I wound and I heal. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is the one who makes people sick. So this lady obviously offended the Lord, you know, by doing Christmas shopping and other quote unquote fun shit. <laughs> you know, with, uh, you know, dyed hair. Look at her with her leprous hair. This stupid ass, dumb ass thinks that this is some type of uh, righteous, witty, and sexy look to uh, appear as if she was an Edomite with, with leprous hair. Okay, and again, and that is a curse. So this person's cursed multiple times over, you see, because like I said, these, these, these celebrities, they're not as high up as one would think. Okay, even when the scripture says, you know, woe be unto you when the whole world think well of you, man. 
Okay, and woe to you that laugh now, for which because she was doing fun shit, and then what happened? You know, this, the scripture says, "Ye shall mourn and weep," and that's exactly what was going on. This dumbass was in the hospital, and she she thought she was gonna die. She needed oxygen, and thought that quote God was taking me home. Now, this dumbass that does not even know the name of God or what God it is that was going to take her home. You know, she doesn't even know where her spirit belongs. Imagine living a life like that. Now, brothers, you are blessed abundantly, man. To, for, to one, know the name of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Two, to have the guidance of the knowledge of the scriptures in the proper format, precept upon precept, man. And three, to have the prophets, which is the mouthpiece of the Lord, talking, speaking, breaking down the scriptures on earth as an example for men to follow. You know, because and if this life is so short, listen, you have to operate with wisdom, man. And to obtain mercy from the Lord, you know, which is written in the scriptures, one to honor your mother and your father, your days shall be long on the earth, right? And to also, you know, be careful and and, uh, you know, be charitable with the way that you are with brothers, you know, help in Akium when possible, open up your house, you know, saying to the proper brothers and whoever's, you know, what I mean, tested and tried and true, you know, you don't just the first guy who says Yahawashai or Yahabashim Yahawashai, you let him in your house and sleep over right away. That's madness. Scripture says, prove a friend first and be not hasty to credit him. So a guy needs to put in work for a while and test him and watch him. And then you could, you know, uh, bring him amongst documents, things of this nature or whatnot. But nonetheless, I say that to say, you know, mercy is obtained through following the scriptures. Now, this person doesn't follow the scriptures. Look at the way she's dressed. Look at her. Her breasts are exposed, man. You know, she's a wicked warlock. And she's uh, celebrating Saturnalia, which I got to do a video on that in detail. Because don't even get me started on this Christmas shit, man. First off, it's not the Lord's birthday, number one. Number two, uh, it's in the winter winter solstice, which is the highest of wickedness when the sun is at its lowest point. And the earth is the coldest it could ever get. Uh, henceforth, while we have uh, 10 degrees below or 10 degrees right now, because it's literally, literally the winter solstice. But these stupid dumbbells are out there celebrating, doing, quote, uh, Christmas fun shit. She said, and the next very, very next day, I had been taken to the hospital by ambulance. <laughs> Is here today, gone tomorrow, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said, um, no man knows what tomorrow may bring. You see what I mean? That's why I say to say, Lord willing. When you're making your plans, but you have to say, Lord willing, I do this. Lord willing, I do that. Okay? So let's keep going on. So this is this, this moron right here, you know? I believe this, she's got 5.5 .5 million followers. So, you know, she's high as hell off of that. You know, I guess she was, uh, she's 45 years old. I think this is Tony Baxton's daughter. If I'm not mistaken. I'm, I don't know for sure. Uh, okay. And then it says, is best known for her work on the real Braxton family values. Dancing with the stars and celebrity big brother. Okay. So, let me see what, what else she said. She said, no idea where it came from again. And that's what sparked the scriptures that I'm going to be bringing out. So, she's just giving me ammunition to edify, you know, really ultimately, this clown needs to repent. This is the true uh, color of her hair. And look what she did. Look it. You see? Trying to look like an Edomite. But some people would call that person blessed. Nah, I don't think so, man. She's just a regular person, man. All right, totally blind. She said, I wasn't, a, okay. She said, enjoy y'all holiday at home. You don't want this. 
oh yeah, I'm completely isolated because it's hella contagious. I love y'all for real, you know? And it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's people like that. <laughs> oh man, I'm not even going to get into that one. But yeah, it's people like that, man, that perpetuate this type of lifestyle and this Christmas stuff, man. Let's look at 71,000 likes. The scriptures talk about that too, man. We'll be on to you when the whole world think well of you, man. You know, it's not a good thing because people are down with you. But that doesn't mean nothing, man. Matter of fact, you're supposed to be hated, man. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and verse number 21. It says, who knoweth the spirit of a man that goeth upward and the spirit of a beast that goeth downward to the earth? And yeah, it's talking about when you die, ultimately, uh, your spirit goes back to the heavenly father. So when she was talking about, you know, God almost took her home. Yeah. You know, when you die, you don't go to the devil with a pitchfork or you don't go, you know, into uh, pearly gates or none, no shit like that. You just go back to the heavenly father, period. And that's also right here in Ecclesiastes 12. Twelve and seven. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the heavenly Father who gave it. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. All is vanity. Okay, so this this person sitting there again, and, and you know, regarding to the Christmas thing, because I did bring it up, so I just want to quickly say this here in Jeremiah ten. This is a heathen custom. This is Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh speaketh unto you. Excuse me, the word which the Lord, Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Okay, so you so-called blacks, <coughs> Latinos, Native Americans. You're the true Israelites. Or you 12 tribes, not just not just, just the 12 tribes of, the, of Jude, Judah, like that dumbass Kanye West said, who's a, like he called himself a baby Christian. He got nothing to do with this truth, man. He don't know what the hell he's talking about, man. Verse 2, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Exactly. And that's exactly the custom of the heathen that you're not supposed to learn. But you said, enjoy y'all's holidays, y'all. I was doing Christmas and other Christmas fun shit. So you're way against the Lord. So, And that's why the Lord judged you. Stupid, simple ass. So I can do this video about you. Okay. That's the reason why you got judged. And that she would never believe it. She would never take the rebuke. Never. She would never be able to do it. Because she's just she's so stupid, you know. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 6. It says, Do ye thus requite the Lord, Yahweh, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath bought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. Right, so you got to have counsel. There's got to be a counsel and adjudicators and men who are willing to, you know, teach and preach the scriptures and to also build you up in faith and knowledge to let you know not to be partaking in those rituals, man. And those worships, worshiping of pagan deities, which those pagan deities are against the heavenly father, which you said almost called you home. And believe me, it's not over yet. It's not over yet, you know. But you, you think this is a game, man. So you'd rather go and, and uh, talk to the heathens, man. And deal with them. Well, 
that's exactly what you're going to get then. You're going to have to deal with that. You know, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to destroy wh whom he will. And if you're one of those people, then that's what's going to happen, man. Huh? You know? Let me get this one scripture. Uh, I wound. Whoops. Because, you know, who... You know, she don't know where I got this from. This is Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So yeah, if the Lord wants you out of there, man, he'll just go ahead and do it. He'll just do whatever he needs to do. And that goes for anybody, man. You know, so nobody's exempt from that. You think you're just going to get away or, you know, you can do whatever you want and the Lord ain't coming for you. But who the hell are you? Who the hell do you think you are? Tamar Braxton. That, that's a nobody. See what I'm saying? You are a nobody. You know what I mean? And when you follow these stupid customs of these dumbass people, which are base people, you're following a base man's God, man. I need you to consider and understand that. You're so stupid that you're following a base man's God and decking trees that are dead and worshiping them, man, and taking pictures with them, man. And these people are hella disrespectful. Even if that was God's birthday, Mad people be having sex on Christmas, man. And Christmas Eve, man. All kind of sex, man. No respect for their so-called God. And that God at Christmas is the white man. You know? He's a white man with stringy hair. You know, that looks like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, man. This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Right, and he, he could kill this lady for that, man. Straight up. Job 5 and 18, for he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. Right, so he could kill your ass right now, you know, just for saying that stupid shit to 5.5 million people. Oh, no, he, he could jack you right now. By the end of this video, you could be out of there. Psalm 68 and 20 says... He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord, belong the issues from death. See? So he, he could go on the offensive and the attack right now because you're offending him, man. You're offending him, man. And he could either further smash you or, or, or bind you up. But, you know, the way, the way you are acting... It doesn't look like it's going to be uh, the latter of the two. Hosea 6 and 1 says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, Yahweh, For he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. And that's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel and those people who would repent. Because ultimately, this thing is about repentance. So Tamar Braxton, if you're watching this, man, you know, which your wicked ass is probably not going to because you, you're probably singing some Christmas carols with your weak ass family, your wicked ass family, which is just the truth there that I just told. You're wicked and you're weak and you're evil. All right. You're not strong like you think you are, as you found out. OK, but if this is your first time watching a channel, whoever this may be, repent. For the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is at hand. And with that, I'm just going to say Shalom and on to the next one.